What is going on, guys? Welcome here to the channel. Thank you so much for coming with us today as we play some more Conan Exiles on the Isles of Sipta, continuing the adventures of Baby Dick the Angry. I am Nick. This is Nerd Brain. Let's kick this video off right, shall we? So our video continues with apparently some kind of Cthulhu-esque monster tentling, tentacling his way out of the portal. And this is the first time I've actually seen that. Is he responsible for the lightning strikes that we have been experiencing that summon the demons? Do we get to fight Cthulhu at the end of this? These are answers that I need questions to. And we are going to try to figure those out maybe in this episode, but maybe in the future. And I've stumbled upon in my exploration... A, a village of sorts where I can tame, a tame, I, I use the word tame too liberally, I can knock out and then break people into becoming my thralls. And with your feedback, I have tried to change up my weaponry a little bit. Uh, I usually go the two-handed sword route, but daggers were suggested to me. And they are fast, and they are deadly, and I've, I really like them. And this is kind of the first time that I've really tinkered with daggers in Conan. And I kind of instantly fell in love. I've been playing around with the bleed and stuff like that. I really like the daggers. So I'm going to play with the daggers a little bit here, but I haven't explored this village at all. I'm going to see a, a merchant. Okay, can I, like, buy from you? Purchase a camel for ten gold coins. Let's talk to you. I don't have any gold coins. Okay, fine. Screw you then. Uh, he wants me to buy a camel. I can... I guess get one, but I'd rather tame something. I haven't dabbled in the taming at all yet. Uh, I know we can tame rhinos. I know a place where rhinos are at. Maybe I can, like, knock some of these dudes out. But if I do, will the whole village get angry at me? I don't really know. But the whole reason why I'm up here in this general vicinity, like, I'm here I am, uh, is that I have been told that there is an elephant graveyard somewhere in this general vicinity that I'm circling. And in that elephant graveyard are elephants or mammoths. And I can kill the mammoths for the elephant hide, which will allow me to make the best possible armor. And that's what I've really been going for. That was my goal. So I've wandered up here and I just wandered too far north. And I discovered myself a bunch of villagers. I'm going to explore this area a little bit. Let's see Archer. None of these guys are like standing out to me as high ranking dudes. It's not like Archer 3 or anything. Yeah, they're just, like, low-level kind of guys. I don't know if I want to mess with them as, like, trying to throw them up. The lightning striketh, I hear it in the background. But let's see what this village has to offer. Maybe I can get... Oh, maybe there's a dancer here. If there's a dancer here... Are you a dancer? Valeria. Well, well. Okay. What the tide washed up. It, it, me! It washed up me, Valeria! You're the only person that looks kind of, like, standing out here. Uh, I need a... Oh, a dancer! Can I watch you and cure my corruption? Oh, blessed day. I have found a dancer. I'm watching her shake her ass so that I can get rid of my corruption and regenerate my health. This is perfect. If only I could get one of those for my home. Sweet baby Simba. I think we found it. Holy crap. Okay, fantastic. I see a mammoth. Where are we on the map? Just in case. It's legit directly north of this tower. So in my exploration, I had just gone too far, uh, too far north, and I ended up finding the, the merchant camp. Now, I explored the merchant camp a little bit. I talked to some of the NPCs. They wanted to sell me some stuff, but I didn't see a whole lot of benefit uh, from the merchant camp in and of itself, other than maybe trying to knock somebody out. But I figured, hey, if I do that, they're going to be all pissed off at me. So let's save that for later. But what we're going to get now is some freaking elephant hide, and we're going to make the best gear ever. All right, buddy. I'm sorry. You got to die. It's for armor, and we're going to make you bleed a little bit. Oh, you have tough hide. Okay, let's get some stacks on you. I'll just roll around. There's a kitty over there, too. We're not going to mess with kitty. No, no, no. Just stay underneath him. There we go. That's right. You can't stop me if I'm underneath you. I'm outsmarting the elephant. I'm gonna call you Elephant. Let me roll. <laughs> gotta get my Dark Souls on. I also gotta rebind that key. It's in a really awkward position. That wasn't a roll. That was a whack. I just got stepped on, stepped on a little bit. <laughs> Same thing there. Standard dragon killing position. Attack the legs. Although I'm in the front. This is bad news. Okay, roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Channel in my inner Dark Souls. Okay, this isn't working. 
Let's try the axe, maybe. Oh. See if we do more damage. More damage with the Dax. That's right. More damage with the Dax. Oh, we got him. Okay. I don't know if we did more damage with the Dax. I like the daggers. They're fast. They're low damage, but they're fat. Damn it, kitty. Daddy's busy. Okay, I got him. Now I'm going to dagger you. That's a bad kitty. That's a bad kitty. You don't mess with daddy. Okay, you're dead. What are you, a tiger? Or a lion? A bear? An oh my? A feral. Feline. Feral flesh and feline pelt. That's what you were. All right, well, sweet. We've got a little bit of elephant hide. I should discover this elephant graveyard because it's, uh, it's obviously what it is here. Uh, it's supposed to be a... Uh, uh... Like a hot point on the map. Hot point's not the right word. Like a waypoint or a marker or something. It should appear. Is what I've been told. Uh, doesn't appear to be... There it is. <laughs> I was just not patient enough. As I was say, it doesn't appear to be popping up. But now it should be marked. Elephant Graveyard. Perfect. Now let's try the... Let's try the Dax. And do some damage. And see if we can... Oh, wait, 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 wait. For science? No. Okay, I thought we maybe could get bones or something from that, but we for scienced it and discovered that we couldn't get anything. Let's get some more elephant pelt, and we are going to make ourselves some of the best freaking armor ever. Now that we're back at home, sweet home, we're going to make some of the best armor that I could possibly make, and I'm going to pick up a lot of my structures because I think it's about time for us to move to a better location. So I plopped a bedroll down over here, I did have one previously where the village is, but I think this is close enough. There's the elephant graveyard, there's the tower, and we are way over he yonder, over here, just next to absolutely nothing. I've done a little bit of exploring. I found these, like, sanctuaries and this uh, lay shrine of the demon, which I think is some kind of, like, teleportation device. I haven't really figured out much of that stuff yet, but we're going to be exploring more of the island as we go and hopefully figure out what these things do, but... Our beginner zone, our beginner area, our beginner base has become largely obsolete. So I'm going to start to leave this place a little bit behind. But with 540 elephant hide, I should be able to make some sweet, sweet armor. And I think it's going to be this. The perfect... Not that one. Where's the perfect one? Uh, oh, I think that actually is the perfect one. Yeah, perfected, perfected helmet. Okay, yeah, the perfect uh, Hyrcanian suit. Of raider armor. Yep, that's how you say it. That's exactly what it is. We're gonna make that one. Okay, so elephant hide, hardened leather. You are in my tannery. So let's grab you. Oh, we got tons of thick leather. Wait, did I say hardened leather or thick leather? I might have to. Uh, I might have to make some changes. Is there hardened leather? Did I just read it wrong? No, it does say hardened leather. Okay, we have to figure out how to harden the leather. Oh my god, I can't actually remember how to do that hardened leather leather thick leather oil and alchemical base oh thank god it actually told me though so we need oil no setbacks unbelievable setbacks where do i i get oil from smashing something or is it tar let's put let's get my berry juice here on the hot bar let's get rid of that flesh we don't need it oh i can't remember oil is from smashing coal no, that's tar. You get tar from smashing coal. Oh, man. I might ha I don't think I have any. I might actually have to look it up. There's six oil, which I just stored in there for whatever reason. Don't remember how I got it or how I made it. Uh, it requires five. Do I have alchemical base on me? I do. I have 16 on me. How much will I get out of this? Craft one. I got literally one hardened leather. Oh, that is devastating news. It's going to require 23. Oh, man, it requires so much. All right, we got to start cooking up alchemical base. That's where we're going to start here. Alchemical base for days. We're going to need gold dust and ichor. That means I got to go hunting spiders. Uh, oh, we got 12 in here. What's, how's my gold dust situation? Oh, we got plenty of gold dust. Uh, silver dust, I think, is what I needed to. I've been making all of my coins into dusts. Silver dust, we'll put you in here. Boom, boom. How we looking, how we looking. And Iker. So it's just hunting spiders. That's the name of the game for the 
foreseeable future for me. But I will get this armor. I will make the cool ass armor. And we will dominate that tower. Maybe in an hour. Progress, sweet, glorious progress. I have accidentally made things a little bit harder for myself as is Nerd Parade tradition. We're gonna talk about that a little bit and what it means because I've decided to give meaning to it. That's right. We have now gone so far into this uh, Conan adventure without any thralls that I've kind of accidentally instilled upon myself a challenge. And what that challenge is, is now the no thrall challenge. I'm going to see how long I can make it in the game without actually getting a thrall. Because Baby Dick the Angry is totally against slavery, apparently. I have gone so long without getting thralls that at this point it's kind of a meme and I've made things much harder on myself by not doing it but I'm managing to get around. So I remembered, slash also looked up on the wiki, that smashing seeds gives you oil. So we've got a decent amount of oil coming in now. I've got some stockpiled up, and I've been crafting some of the uh, hardened leather as we go. Let's go ahead and craft the rest of that up. I should have enough for two, maybe three pieces of the armor, and we'll go out and get more seeds because we're going to need them for sure. So no thrall challenge is making things a bit harder on me, as is, I guess, tradition, even though I accidentally did it to myself. Uh, I'm also working on some of the black ice reinforced wood stuff. We're going right to one of the top tier building materials, as is also nerd parade tradition, going big or going home. We're doing flips here. Uh, we're going to build a small-ish little base over here and maybe expand onto it into a village. I haven't really decided yet. I don't know what the best location is. Uh, there's a temple there? I didn't realize that. Also, I've done the no religion challenge apparently as well because I haven't bothered doing any of the religious stuff. Uh, Ymir is my, is my chosen religion and I have made, uh, if I can get inside of there, I've made some of the axes in case I happen to lose them and that's it. Like, I've... Oh, I didn't mean to grab all those. Like, I've legit done nothing else with this. So, currently, we're on no thrall, no religion challenge. Likely to change at some point, depending. But I'm going to try to go as far as I can in the game without actually doing it. So, uh, I'm making some steel stuff as we go now because I'm running low on the old steel reinforcements. So, that's cooking up. we got plenty of iron stone in here. Letting these seeds build up in the, uh, in the press... We should have... Ooh, okay, we got like 10 more. That's not going to do a whole lot. So we're going to have to go out and get some more seeds. But I will, I will get this freaking armor. It is my goal. It is my Everest right now. Craft, 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 crafty, craft. Do I have to single craft you guys? Seriously? All right, that's fine. Uh, let's start with the hat. We're going to do what we can. We're going to start with the hat. Uh, if I can find... Scrolly, scroll. Here you are. I went past you three times. One. We can craft three pieces. What's the next thing down? Chest. So we're going to start with chest. Perfected chest. Craft. Two. Next thing down. No, it's 23 per piece. It's, that's, what? That's 46. That's double. Okay, we're going with legs. Legs are next. And then boots and gloves will be last. Boots and gloves are going to have to be last. Because the perfected stuff is, I'm slowly working towards it. We're going to get there. I like the hard slash heavy slash very defensible armors. I just like those. Those are the ones I tend to gravitate to. So the medium, the perfected medium has a lot less than 118 armor value versus 280. Two eight-legged fur. Mother of pearl. Okay, we can make plenty of that. I got, I got more fur somewhere. Mother of pearls. Fur in here? No, no fur in here. Fur in here? Fur. God, I gotta go get fur too. I am triggered! But that's okay, let's do the hat. Layer first, son of a... Son of a... Oh, I'm out of... Okay, I'm low... No, I'm good on fur. I'm good on fur. I'm low on alchemical base. But that's okay. This has been crafting like crazy in my cauldron. Now we're... Okay, layer first, layer to craft. <laughs> Untriggered. Uh, I probably don't need to craft all of it, but... Ding, 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 ding. That ought to be fine if I just craft half. Let's save a little bit of my um, my alchemical base just for future purposes, I guess. 
And we have enough to make a hat. Oh, wait. Now we can make the hat. Apparently. Things are difficult, but it's okay. I'm excited. We're going to get hat. Uh, go back to making layered fur. Craft, craft, craft. Okay, hat goes into inventory. Hat goes on face. How does it look? Does it look badass? It looks pretty badass. All right, equip a raider armor piece. Let's go to our vanity cam. You know what? I'm okay with this. I think I am okay with this until we get, if it's even possible on Isle of Sipta, I haven't figured it out yet, the, uh, like, Death Knight-looking armor with the horns. We've had it in the previous uh, series that we've run on Conan, but I don't know if it's accessible on Isles of Sipta. It was a heavy level piece, uh, heavy armor piece, and it offered a lot of, I think it was, like, cold insulation or something, but you have the frost breath whenever you're using it. I, uh, I'm okay with this for now. This should be the ultimate piece that we can craft until we can raid the Tower of Power. Corruption be damned, I think I'm going to go and attack the Tower after we've got every single full piece of this armor. And next is going to be, boom, our chest. We're going to finally cover our Viking body, not leave it exposed to the elements. Well, at least our side parts. I, oh, should I put some... Do I have the reinforced kits? I can probably make them. I should also put some master thick armor plating. Yeah, let's do that too. We're going to do some thick armor plates and see how much it raises it. Because I did thick armor plates on the, the Van Thier. Okay, so it is 280. Two, it raises it by three? That eh, wasn't worth it. That eh, wasn't worth it at all. Okay, let's put this on. Boom. Yes. I love it. It looks so awesome that we now have to go over here to our dyes. And we've been collecting dye from chests and junk. Uh, I didn't mean to crouch. Let's zoom it in. Let's go to black dye. Oh, I forgot how to do this. That's definitely not how I do Oh, I need the dye cauldron thingy, I bet. Aha! Light bulb. <laughs> not light bulb. Never mind. We figured it out. All I had to do was simply click the piece. It's been a while since I dyed armor in Conan. I kind of forgot how to do it. So let's try to... Oh, the black looks good. I, see, I like that like black leather look. If I, I got to get some green. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Original color. The gray's fine. Uh, the brown definitely needs to go to black. Let's actually... Let's cancel this. Let's get into the rest of the dyes that I got. Oh, I've got one cursed green dye. One... Four abyssal purples. Midnight blue. Gray. Olive green. Okay, this is all I've gotten from looting chests. We're just taking it all into our inventory. And we're going to die. This guy. Let's do... Oh, it's pretty... It's dark. Let's try the purple. Purple doesn't look bad. Blue looks okay. Ah, oh, I like that. I only have one cursed green, though. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, we're going to save it. Die an item. We've done it. Uh, it looks different now than I expected. I wasted my green. I think I wasted my green. I should have put green on the belt. Oh, it looks pukey. It doesn't look so bad here, but on my character model, it looks pukey. I'm filled with regrets. Buyer's remorse. Now that I'm having dyer's remorse instead of buyer's remorse. Uh, I don't necessarily love the color, but we might make some dyes or... Maybe just try to find them in chests like we've been doing and say we'll leave it to chance and leave it to the cosmic universe to determine what color our armor is going to be. I'm likely going to rechange it to black, but we'll do that at a different time. I'm not too terribly worried about it. We want pants. Last but not least, a pair of pants is going to be all the armor that I can make for now. Unless we have finished off. Oh, no, we definitely need a lot more seeds. Go ahead and plop you in here. There's our pantalones. And equip. 968 total armor value. Minus hands. Minus boots. I really don't think the... Um, the 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 reinforces armor reinforces three armor. It's dumb. That's super dumb. I should just go with lessening the weight on it. That's what I should probably do. Uh, let's put these guys in here for now. Ooh, it's actually lighter than the 29. It's lighter than the... Oh, no, it's the same. Never mind. I can't, I can't do math. 
But we can still flip around in it. We can still look for the Death Knighty looking armor, which I really think looks badass. But for now, I've accomplished three fifths of my goal, which is to make the best armor that I possibly can. And in my next set of tasks, we're going to head over to our location here, build our black ice wood house, try to invade the tower and continue our no religion, no thrall challenge. Corruption be damned, because I can always come over here to the camp of the castaways and watch the dancer and lose it. Yeah, we're, try we're doing things extra hard just because that's how we like to do it. I'd end before someone says that's what she said. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang with us. Tag the subscribe button for me. And also ring the bell so you can stay up to date with all things Nerd Parade. All things of the Ballad of Baby Dick the Angry. And our adventures through Conan. Our misadventures through Conan. Because I'm really not following the script properly here. We're doing things our own way. We're carving our own path. Hope you liked it nonetheless. Hope you got a laugh. That's always my goal. Tag the thumbs up button if you did. And be sure to take care of yourselves out there in the real world. Until then, until you visit Nerd Parade Land once again, take care of yourselves like I mentioned. Stay awesome. We'll see you soon. Later.